Hi Aries, welcome to Starkeology Tarot. My name is Desi. I will be your Starkeologist for this month, um, which happens to be your birthday month. Happy birthday. What a time to have a birthday in this weird pandemic experience we are going through. Um, hopefully this reading will bring you some comfort and security and guidance. Um, so if we can just take a moment, um, set your intention for what you would like to get out of this reading. Um, I will be asking Spirit to see what is the most important message for you to receive right now. Uh, and please keep in mind this message is for all Aries, so there will be some things that will resonate with you and probably some things that won't. The things that won't, be sure that those are meant for someone else. Um, let's begin. You guys see in these cards this is wild um so a lot of you are have just or are in the process of facing some serious endings right now we have the ten of swords um paired with the lovers actually um so this could be a i mean quite literally it can be a relationship that has just ended or a relationship that is ending um, and it can, it, it can also be a relationship not in the traditional terms that we normally think of the lover's cards. This is not necessarily a romantic relationship. This could be a partnership, um, a friendship, something that has, um, that you believed was going to stand the test of time, um, that is surprising you now because it is reaching its its natural ending the ten of wands uh, or sorry the ten of swords um you know it's not it's not an act of god it's not like the tower card where it's just something that that comes out of nowhere and shocks us it's it's often a result of of a process of a battle of a process that we knew that we were in like a battle that we've been battling for a very very long time um and we could tell that we weren't doing so well <laughs> um and that is likely what it is for you right now however even though this is the culmination of this is a culmination of natural events, of a, of a process of events. It doesn't take away at all from how shocking maybe the ending felt in the moment. We can still be shocked and hurt and have a variety of feelings um, from something that even we expected happening. The nature of this, I mean, the ten, this in the Rider Waite deck, it does a very good job of portraying um, this ending, this death. I mean, it's it's all in the back. It was like it's this strange duality of knowing, oh, this is a possibility. When you fight in the battle, you know that there is a possibility of losing, of losing your life, but. And yet he is this this figure is only st all these swords are stabbed in his back um so there's also this uh, this other element on the other side of the coin that shows that he even though he he goes into that into that battle with the expectation you also he also didn't see it coming necessarily he didn't literally see it coming right before it actually happened um and this is uh this is a difficult whatever this ending is for you i'm i'm feeling that it's something that's very complex again this the duality in this card there there's just it there's it's very layered the nature of this ending and it's 
it's going to take a lot of time for you to process. I think that while some of you it might be a relationship that is ending, it could be something else that is ending that is opening the door for a new relationship, a new partnership. Um, and for, for many of you, I'm also hearing that this is, this is a relation, the relationship with yourself is what is being reborn right now. Some of you have neglected the relationship with yourself. You, you are so giving, you are so nurturing, you have that Aries fire that you fight with for those that you love. And sometimes that same passion you don't apply to yourself, to the relationship with yourself. Um, the most important partnership many of you, I feel, are learning right now is the partnership with yourself. We, you, it's like there are two consciousnesses in you, and those two con the, the relationship between those two consciousnesses. Um, needs to be continually nourished and taken care of because that is the only way that we truly that our self-growth is reflected in the outside relationships the relationships with other with our family with our friends with lovers um there is a real there is a real rebirth happening here and yeah this th th that's why this ending card you know it is signifying death because this is there's a real opportunity for for rebirth um whether it's an, a relationship that's ending or something else that is ending that is making room in your life for a relationship for a partnership and i've because this is the lover's card, I feel that it is going to be the relationship for you. That could be you are meeting your life partner. It could also mean that you are establishing a partnership with yourself that you have been missing your entire life. That is the relationship that is going to blossom now. You're spending a lot more time with yourself right now, likely, considering the state of the world. And that is forcing you to come to terms and come to face um, elements of your relationship with yourself that made you feel uneasy before that were not really taken care of before um you're seeing how you how it is that you relate in relationship to yourself and it's clearer than ever because there's so fewer distractions you are forced to be spending quality time with yourself in a way that you never maybe never have before um, and that that there's real opportunity in that whatever is ending there is no turning back um, however this is a swords card this is I think an, a, another component of this is whether it's something physical ending in your life or not there regardless is a mental component um, something that you've believed for a very long time that now you are realizing is not serving you anymore or you're seeing the holes in this belief system that you thought was building you up and this mental reflection and understanding of why things are the way they are in your life right now is leading to this destruction or has led to this destruction that is going to allow you to rebuild, to rebirth something better. This is a blessing in disguise. Or maybe it's not in disguise at all. Maybe you're very, very aware of the blessing that is in this. Um, regardless, there is a new day dawning for you and it is what you are establishing in place, in its place, in place of the thing that has died or is dying, is, is stronger than anything that you could have won 
in that battle. It's good that that battle is over. We learn, we often, we always want to win, but we often learn the most when we lose. Because what we think, when we think we're losing, we're actually gaining so much more. We're gaining so much more on a mental level, we're gaining so much more on, a, on an emotional level. And that reflects in a spiritual level as well. So let the battle be over. And take care of yourself. Um, because this is, like I said in the beginning, this is, a, this is layered. This is very, very complex. And you might not completely understand why it happened, but you don't have to understand why it happened. Let those, those puzzle pieces of understanding come to you in their own time. This isn't something that you have to think your way through. You don't think your way through death. You don't, it's something, it's a natural process of life and there's going to be many different elements to how you process that. So that is the situation that you are finding yourself in at the moment. Um, or if not, that is the situation perhaps that you're stepping into in early April. The advice and action to take to move yourself through this time is incredibly um, inspirational. Um, and really self-focused, it's very internal. We have really cards with really internal energy here. Um, the Three of Wands paired with the Ace of Swords. So, Again, this is the ten end of the of the swords um, arc. Before we get to the to the court cards, you're going right back to number one. You're going. This is a full cycle that is coming um, to completion, and whatever you are replacing these belief systems with, or this belief system, or this thought pattern, whatever it is, whatever you are replacing it with, you have incredible power right now to consciously decide what goes in that empty space there is in the ace cards there is um there's a real sort of divine um hand in I mean, quite literally, in these cards, there is a is a divine um, hand, a divine component to it. Um, something greater than yourself that you feel almost is coming to you. If there is a thought, an idea, a decision, something that feels very, very clear to you mentally, that is likely the right path for you here. Um, that new idea, that new decision that seems to have just popped in your head out of nowhere, or if it hasn't yet, it could be on its way. That is coming from a very blessed and guided place. Um, so listen to it without necessarily understanding where it came from. Embrace it. Um, Embrace it and act on it. This idea, it could be a, a, a new idea. Because this is so, this is an ace card and, and paired with the three of wands, um, which is largely about creative enterprise and, and um, capitalizing on your real individuality and nonconformism. The three of wands already is a very Aries energy card. It's... It's about unconventional creativity and that leading to a new adventure starting. Um, three in numerology is, is a number of creation. This is, this is a new creative baby that is being born here. And it is completely built on your own quirks and eccentricities and parts of yourself that make you exceptionally unique. Um, that is intimately connected with the new idea that you are having or the new decision that you are making here. This is sole purpose 
being completely in sync with your mind, with your intellect, with um, the words that you are speaking and the thoughts that you are thinking right now. Let those things inform each other. Um, being in the advice position right now and the action that you take, these, there is something that you are creating in this time that is integral to building this long-lasting partnership. And that could be, because this is in the creative realm here, that could be um, a work-related partnership, something with your career, something with your passion that you now have time and space in your life to focus on, but it could also be an actual um, romantic relationship or a friendship. Whatever it is, this is something that is long-lasting that will allow you to be who you really are in a way that maybe you haven't before. This is a, this, this relationship, and again, and it's with someone else, it also still could be with yourself. This relationship is, I think a lot of you this is with yourself, just because of the nature of this Three of Wands card. You are the one who is embracing your everything that is unconventional about you. Maybe it's with this birthday. Some, there's something about this birthday that is that is allowing you to be reborn with an appreciation of everything that makes you weird. <laughs> and that's so good. People spend their whole lives trying to get to that place, and oftentimes they never do. The sooner that you can learn and internalize that lesson and actually allow it to inform your ideas, the decisions you make, and thereby the actions that you take and the world that you create, um, your world, your in, in the world of pentacles, the very tangible things, the, the job that you have, the home that you have, the life that you build, the people you surround yourself yourself with, the sooner you can let that weirdness inform all of those things, the sooner that you will not only feel at home in yourself, but also see your life blossom because you are aligning with that pure divine energy. You're div you are aligning with, with source and nothing else is getting in the way of that. A lot of us waste a lot of time fighting that because we let all of those things about our culture, society, get in the way and distract us from just embracing the beauty of who we are. Again, getting beyond that and then actually being able to really accomplish things and change the world. So there's something very introspective about this time and um, analytical. Look at what you want to three of wands. As you, as you decide, as you figure out your plan of action, your next adventure, you need to be very clear about what it is that you want and make sure that it aligns with who you really are because the more aligned those things are, the sooner it can be manifested, the sooner that plan will be realized because that sort of embracing, the universe responds to that so quickly. When we embrace our natural gifts, it's like we are saying yes to the divine. We're saying, oh, okay, I'm embracing this. Yes, I will, I will use these. But I will use what you have given me. And then the universe is like, great, thanks. That's what I've wanted you to do your whole life. <laughs> um, and we're able to do that fearlessly. Doors really begin to open. And I think doors are beginning to really open for you. This is really crucial to do this at this time because I think... Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, these, these final two cards are, are really fascinating to me. The Six of Swords and um, the Two of Swords. You might feel that with this ending, you it's paralyzed you in some way. It's paralyzed you face down on the ground, um, still reeling over the knives in your back. But that is not necessarily true. You can process these feelings that you have um, and not feel like you have no choices to make. The longer you stare, stay paralyzed, the longer you stay on the ground, the longer the battle will be drawn out because you're still on that battleground. Letting the battle end though is not there is no shame in being a refugee. There is no shame in saving yourself, saving what is left of yourself and getting out of a situation. And I think maybe there's some very black and white thinking happening with letting this thing end so that something else can be reborn. Um, and like being seen as giving up or being seen as being the, like there's shame in losing um, when in fact there's no shame in losing. There's no shame in feeling like you need to be saved, especially when you're the one who's saving yourself. There's incredible strength in this Six of Swords card. I mean, real, real, real strength. And you have to detach mentally from whatever this was because that can leave you pinned to the ground for as long as you let it feel, make you pinned to the ground. Sorry, <laughs> feel pinned to the ground. This can keep you pinned to the ground for as long as you let it keep you pinned to the ground. These are both swords cards and there is a real mental detachment that has to happen a real mental moving on so that this ace of swords can you can grab this ace of swords out of the sky that it's waiting for you to be grabbed to be held to be wielded and for you to attack your next adventure with and you won't be able to hold that ace of swords if you don't move to a safe place where you can have that adventure. This place is done. So don't make the effort to, don't try to stand up on that battleground and start a fight in that same place <laughs> where you just collapsed. You need to, th there is real, a real need to move on, to travel, to, um, and I don't mean physically necessarily, I'm, I'm really talking about on a, on a metaphorical level, like you need a new, a new space, there's a new mindset that you need to find. Make a home in a new mindset. There is uncharted territory here that is waiting for you to discover and pioneer. And you are a lot stronger than you think. There might be a decision. Well, yeah, we have a few decision cards here. This is this could be a new decision. And the fact that this is our beginning card, this is the card we're ending with, there is still a decision about this ending that might be still hanging over your head. That decision 
you are more equipped to make that decision than you think you are right now. So shift that mindset. Decide that you can make the decision right now. Decide that you are equipped to make that decision right now. Because you are. If you resolve it now, then it's done. Success, the sun, is not black and white. It's not on either side of these swords. It's right smack dab in the middle. There is a spectrum of success and of beauty that can come from this situation. So don't be so afraid of making the wrong one that you don't make any at all. Regardless, move on from this. Moving on does not mean that you are headed to one specific destination. It just means that you're going away from this place. There is an entire world out there that you might be minimizing to just this, oh, I know exactly where this is, and you don't. There is an entire world out there to explore so many different possibilities and opportunities that are waiting for you and there is a lot of there are there is a lot more decision in it than just this so don't put all of your eggs on the in this basket don't don't make everything in your life depend on this one single thing that you have to decide it's a no-brainer that you need to save yourself now you need to move yourself to safety to refuge. That does not mean, that is not synonymous with a specific outcome. There is a myriad of outcomes that follow this escape. And you're not going to even be able to see those things until you start moving until you unpin yourself from the ground here. Aries, this is... What, what a birthday month, because I do feel this is an incredible uh, rebirth for you. Um, a huge mental shift is happening here. I mean, we have four swords cards out of six here, and our only major arcana card is this lover's card. And that tells me that everything that is happening up here is shifting for you to make room for a partnership in your life, whether it's with truly someone else or just with yourself, that is going to make you feel secure and stable and safe in a way that yeah, maybe nothing else really has before. The actions you take right now are have the potential to shape your long-term future. This is not just for this is not just a weekend getaway. This is not for short-term um, stability or short-term safety or pleasure like you'll do anything you can just to feel okay for a little bit this is a huge huge shift that is a big risk and you're doing it so that you can feel that security feel that safety feel that space for something new and stronger to blossom for a very long time for the rest of your life, maybe. What a birthday gift. <laughs> this is really, really exciting, and I'm, I'm really happy that whatever this is, that is ending, that, is, that it's ending for you, because this is huge. So congratulations on this growth, congratulations on this rebirth, Happy birthday, and I love you. <laughs>